You know the feeling when you're at work, you have a meeting coming up, and you prepared some special talking points to really wow the audience? For example, a really funny opening joke you wanna keep to yourself? See what I did there? Anyways, you want to remind yourself, but you don't want to give it away by adding the joke in the meeting description. So Google Keep tip and trick number one is with the event open in Google Calendar, open the Google Keep app in the companion bar on the right hand side and type whatever prompt you prepared for yourself. For example, make fun of DC Universe. Now, when I exit back to the calendar home screen, the note disappears. But when I select the event, the note reappears because it knows it's related to that specific event. Pretty cool, right? And that is how I have funny jokes prepared for all my meetings and my colleagues just can't keep themselves from laughing. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and in a nutshell, I see Google Keep as a place to store two types of work notes. First, long-term notes I continue coming back to, and second, short-term notes I can forget about after dealing with them. Jumping into my current setup, you can see that I have pin notes up top that include information I know I need to reference on a regular basis, more on that later, and rough notes I started to take down here when I didn't have time to open up my usual note-taking apps. And thanks to the labels and archive features, Google Keep is like an off-email space for me to organize my thoughts, ideas, and to-dos at work. In this video, I primarily share cool tips and tricks, but you'll also get to see how my Google Keep workflow is set up. Oh, and expect more funny puns. Google Keep productivity tip number two, quickly start a new note or list. If I'm pulled last minute into a meeting or if I have a brilliant idea on my way to lunch, I can immediately open a new tab, command T, and type in note.new to start a new note. Now, because I also have a Google Keep tab pinned here at all times in my Chrome browser, I can quickly just navigate to the tab, press C to start a new note, or press L to start a new list. Google Keep organization tip number three. Number your labels to keep yourself organized. As a product marketer, I have different work streams targeting small clients, medium clients, and large enterprises. And I also have a special projects label that catches all the one-off projects that I work on. Uh, the pro tip here is to number your labels so that they're ordered in a way that makes sense to you. After every single note I take, for example, this one where I talk to Elon about Dogecoin, I always do two things. First, I label the note by adding a hashtag. This is special projects, so I type hashtag special projects, press enter, now it's labeled, and I color code it based on what needs to happen next. White means it's unorganized, I need to color code it. Red means I need to take action, which is relevant here. Yellow means someone else needs to do something. Green means it's just a regular note I can review. And gray can be understood as useless. For example, if red and yellow actions have been taken or green notes are outdated, I mark them as gray. The reason I perform these two steps is because usually at the end of every single day, I highlight all these notes and archive them by pressing E. This keeps my homepage nice and clean, and I can still find the notes very easily because they're labeled in their corresponding folders. If you saw my Inbox Zero video, this might sound familiar because for my email labels, red means action, yellow means waiting, and green means to reference. So make sure to check out that video after this one if you use Gmail. The reason why color coding helps so much when it comes to organization is because of Google Keep tip number four, search your notes by color. For example, if I paste this URL into the address bar and press enter, it returns all the red colored notes so I can see immediately all the action items I need to take across my different work streams. I've actually included the different URLs for all the colors down in the description below. So you can actually create like a bookmark folder and you have easy access to all these different colors. By the way, I don't really use reminders with Google Keep because for time specific events, I usually rely on calendar or Todoist. I know you can get really fancy with it with location based reminders. So let me know in the comments if this is something you use and how you use it because I love to learn any best practices. Google Keep tip and trick number five easily reference pin notes directly from Gmail. This tip saves me a ton of time because I work with external co-marketing partners and suppliers. And usually for recurring 
during partnership agreements, we need to reference the same information over and over again. So I have that information pinned up top in Google Keep in blue. And this, these pin notes actually appear up top when you open up the Google Keep app in the Gmail companion bar. When I need to use this information, for example, replying in the email, I can simply copy and paste in a matter of seconds as opposed to digging around in a document or trick somewhere. Oh, and yeah, my Chinese isn't great, so I keep a list of Chinese vocabulary here for me to review on a daily basis. Google Keep productivity tip number six is all about checklists. As mentioned earlier, you can use a keyboard shortcut L to quickly start a new list or within an existing list, use the keyboard shortcut command right bracket to indent and command left bracket to unindent. This is actually the exact same shortcut for bullet points within Gmail. Secondly, the indentation feature in Google Keep is really user friendly in that you can either check off the indented items one by one, or you can cross off the parent checkbox and have all the child children checkboxes marked as completed all in one go. And finally, let's say you have a recurring checklist like a grocery shopping list. You can, after all the items are checked, go down to the three dots down here and uncheck all items. And now you have a clean note once again. Tip and trick number seven is related to the camera feature for the mobile version of Google Keep. I rarely take photos using the app, but the one type of image I do keep around is business cards. For all business cards I receive, I label them using the reference hashtag, and then I archive them to declutter the home page. And because I've it all labeled, all the business cards will show up in the reference folder here. And if I wanted to grab the text from the business card, I can simply select the three dots down here and click grab image text. So even if I choose to not grab image text, so let's just delete this for now, the amazing thing about keeping business cards within Google Keep is that let's say I forget the names of the people working in one company, but I just wanna find all of them. I can go to the search bar and start typing the name of the company, Dunder Mifflin, and because of image recognition, Google Keep will spit out the business cards related to that company. And finally, tip number eight, if you wanted to make bulk edits to all your notes within Google Keep, you can first press Command A to select all the notes in your home page. Uh, and you can see the check mark selects every single one. And now you can make bulk changes, pin all of them, set reminders for all of them, color, change colors, archive, uh, delete, change labels, make a copy, change your Google Docs. So if you want to start from scratch, let's say you got some inspiration from this video, you can select all and press E to archive everything instead of delete, uh, since you can still search for them in archived mode. All right, check out this playlist here for more tips on how to be productive at work. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.